And we're just hearing reports, and again, a lot of this being unconfirmed, that the uh, gunman at the centre of this hostage-taking situation has asked or called for the release of Salah Abdel Salam, the one remaining person who was arrested and charged in association with those attacks that were carried out on November 13, 2015. Um, again, this coming off the back of claims that he has pledged to this government allegiance to the Islamic State group. For those of you just joining us and wanting to get a sense of what has happened so far, I I've, I've, uh, have here in the studio with me Luke Schrago from uh, France 24 uh, News Desk, who's been keeping an eye on the wires. Just take us through as to what actually occurred this morning and now heading into this afternoon, Luke. Now, what we uh, seem to know so far is that a group of uh, French anti-riot police officers were out for a jog. They weren't based locally. They're apparently based in Marseille and were in the area for a local temporary mission. Now, they apparently came under fire with one of them apparently being wounded in the shoulder and then so far we know not seriously. Now, what happened next is that uh, police were called. The gunman apparently took shelter in the Super U supermarket in Trebe. Uh, police, of course, locking down the area as fast as they can, urging local residents to stay away. What we knew at the time, at uh, the moment, that was that there were eight hostages in there with him. Now, there were reports at the time that he may have uh, declared allegiance to the Islamic State group. Again, none of that confirmed. We do not know if that is true or not. And of course, the attack itself does bear a lot of the hallmarks previous attacks. We've seen these lone wolf style attacks with one person attacking, declaring allegiance to a wider terrorist group, though with almost, if any, no backup whatsoever. So we've also heard that um, French police are now saying that two people have been killed with 12 wounded. We don't know anything else. The Interior Ministry hasn't been able to confirm that just yet. We are waiting for further confirmation. The gunman's car, of course, uh, has been found in the supermarket parking, um, parking lot. That is the gunman's car from which we believe shots were fired at the police officers earlier on. The Prime Minister, of course, has been saying that the situation is very serious. He is, for now, in touch with both uh, Prime um, both Interior Minister Gérard Colomb, who is heading for the area, and, of course, President Emmanuel Macron, who is currently at a summit in Brussels. OK, Luke Schrago there giving us an update on uh, the uh, latest e events related to this uh, fast-changing story. And